Hey guys, through here with another video for Blender. In this one, I'm gonna show you how to use bend modifier. If you're in your teens or early twenties and you don't know how to bend, then you know something's severely wrong with you. So I'm gonna try to fill that educational gap. Two quick words about uh, Blender Bros Patreon. A link in the video description, by the way. So if you would like to support us, uh, hop on Patreon and join us over there. There is an awesome trim sheet tutorial this month. Plus. A trim sheet as well with all the maps so if you would like to texture it you can and next month we're gonna have an uh, amazing uh, robotic arm tutorial with add-ons and also um, the um, rendering tutorial that will show you how to create a really cool portfolio level render kind of like an industrial render uh, of that arm and we're gonna have a really awesome uh, decal pack with 2k bounce light emissions baked in so really high quality, it looks really amazing. Uh, everything is of course sci-fi, so check it out. So let's grab a plane and I'm gonna grab some screencast keys and uh, turn it on. And we're gonna subdivide it right in the, you know, edit mode a few times. So right click subdivide, shift R a few times, peachy. Now we're gonna add the band modifier here. So simple deform, right here. And you can choose between band, taper, stretch, etc. We're gonna go for band. Now, it says it's gonna bend on y uh, on x axis, but nothing is happening, right? And that's where people get confused. Now, you need to understand that to bend something, you need two axes, okay? And if it's the object, it's supposed to bend along the you know x axis so in this direction you still need another axis perpendicular to that axis that's going to be uh, defining the start and end point of the bend if i for example rotated this object right now on x axis okay so i'm going to select it and rx90 nothing is going to happen because now the rotation is actually out of whack because if you go to item you'll see that Rotation on X is actually 90 uh, degrees. If I'm going to control A and apply rotation, then you're gonna be seen bent. So again, we are bending along the X axis, but the Z axis, it, it's the one that determines where the start and end point of the bend is, okay? Which is why I need two axes, you know, perpendicular to one another, okay? So if you bend, for example, on Y axis, you're still gonna be um, needing the Z axis as well, okay? So anyway, now, bent uh, pivotal point is usually the origin here, right? But you can change it to something else. So, for example, if you're going to add some empty here, okay, and you're going to go to the object and select empty as the, you know, as the pivotal point, then you can just move it up and down and, you know, do some funny stuff or even rotate it and, you know, do stuff like this, okay? Uh, in addition to this one, what you can do is you can remove certain areas of this object from the band calculation. So if I, for example, select this top line here with Alt, Alt uh, left click, and I'm going to expand it, you know, let's say, I don't know, somewhere here. Then if I go to vertex groups here, and I'm going to create a new group and assign this and these vertices to this group, okay? Now we're gonna go back to our modifier and we're going to go to restrictions and we're gonna select these vertices. Now we're gonna restrict the um, the band, you know, to that, uh, to these vertices, right? So now if I'm going to move this one up to the place where the, uh, the vertex group starts, you'll see we're gonna get this kind of a result. So now I can bend just this piece of G on the top, okay? So that's pretty cool. In addition to this one, you can go beyond that angle, okay? So you can go to, for example, like 600 or something, okay? So this is pretty cool. And of course, you can still, I don't know, rotate this little bugger here, okay? Uh, so there you go. That's pretty cool. Now, in addition to all this, um, you can use bent modifier through hard ops, of course. Let's hide this one and let's grab this and let's just add um, band through hard ups. I'm gonna press, you know, Alt W to enter hard ups. And in the top here, you got these uh, modifiers here, right? So you can add, for example, band. Now, what's cool about these modifiers, right, is that these are smart modifiers, okay? So you can hold control and actually uh, grab this and you can move with your mouse and change the angle of it. So you don't have to go to the modifier, okay, here. So if I'm going to press uh, Rx, 
and 90 and I'm going to apply the rotation and I'm going to change this bend to uh, X axis and I'm going to, you know, curve it. Now, if I'm going to hold control here, I can, you know, adjust it with my mouse. Like you can go off the screen and, you know, do this kind of stuff. So it's pretty cool and very handy and uh, it's, it's it's a bit easier than, you know, having to go to the modifier and, and playing with values. So hard up smart modifiers are fantastic. Try to use them more often. Uh, really cool, especially the bevel ones uh, or, or, or the, you know, uh, the arrays, etc. So anyway, guys, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Give us a like and sub if you did. All links to hard ups and books are in the video description. So if you would like to purchase them, you know, go through the links. You can help me as well. Thanks for watching. Catch you next video.